Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another video. So we are back to work at the convent. Um, we had a lovely Christmas. We all hope you had a lovely Christmas as well. So yeah, today we are continuing with the library project. We've got a few more walls to bring down, so we better crack on. So today we're gonna do this wall, everyone, which is quite nice because it'll open up a bit more perspective because I know we've done 50% so far. Obviously we're leaving these walls in just temporarily until we've got all of the rubble out and everything and it's nice and clean. But that's eating into the 75% of this floor demolition. And then we've got another room over there. I think actually there's two rooms over there we've got to take out. And then that's all of the major demolition done. I've ordered some rubble shoots. They should be here with us around the 2nd or the 3rd or the 4th of January. So that's pretty good. It means we can get all of this um, mud and stuff and clay out into the garden. And yeah, it's going really well so far. Um, I have consulted with a graphic designer. It's any way I can describe it. Um, and they are recreating the library design, um, but without the bookcases for now. Just so you can see what I can see up here, because it's quite hard for me to show you if it's in my head. So I want that, you know, ready for you guys. So you can actually see and envision what I envision for this project. So yeah, it's pretty good. So um, we better take out some plasterboard and start smashing holes in walls. So let's crack on.
Hello, everyone. We've had a bit of a clean up as we've taken down the rest of the ceiling and organized some things, so it's not all in the way. But what we're gonna, what we're gonna do now is take down the plasterboard and then the rest of the infill, which is between the two walls. And then it will be quite nice because it'll open up like two thirds almost of the entire surface of the upstairs of the library. So it's gonna be quite good. Um, yeah, old sink and things. We'll try and keep these, but I don't know what we're gonna use them for in the future. Probably nothing because uh, they're a bit dated, but they're still nice and uh, everything else we'll try and save as well as the doors and everything else. So yeah, let's make holes in the walls, so. Plasterboard, same stuff again. Cardboard between the walls. That's a big void. Nice. Let me mask up and we'll crack on. Well, I'm hoping there'll be no more leaks this time, but you never know. A little bit of water, but nothing bad. And then the last one. No, no leaks. That makes a change, doesn't it? Um, yeah, all good. All good. Well, I didn't break it, so that's good. These brackets are always really handy. These old brackets. So we'll try and keep those. There we go. Brilliant. Just try and remove that without breaking it. There we go. Jobs are good in. Next one. <clears throat> Too bad. Mercy, Yanis, oh, got you got it?
So I've made a small hole in the wall, everyone. And yeah, looking quite good. What I really can't wait to see is how it will look when this wall is removed because it will open it up, I think to the full scale of what the library is gonna be like up on this first floor. So yeah, let's get a bit more out. Knock it down and see how it looks. So let's crack on. So while Dad and Yanis have gone down to the Shettery, Duncan and I are going to try and figure out these electrics because we have a live feed to this supply panel and um, it's all turned off so none of the electrics actually work on this Not floor at the moment. Anyway. No. Yeah, but there is a live feed to the supply panel so that needs disconnecting. Yeah, we're going to go and through. find the other end of it hopefully then, aren't we? Yeah. And, uh... It's I connected. I think it goes up through yeah. to the floor above. We'll so look we can... inside, see what colour the cable is. That'll give us a clue, won't it? Yeah. And then we'll know what we're looking so for. So I'll let you crack on with outside, that. Outside, mate, no problem. Can you see there, Giza? It's all new stuff, Bill. Can we recycle this somewhere else? Mate? If you want. If I want. Yeah. You can have it, Duncan. <laughs> yeah, I'll look at that. It's nice, isn't it? <laughs> nice Legrand stuff. There we go, mate. Mmm. It's a black one, I think, mate. There, isn't it? Is That's it a big it. one? It is. About as yep. thick as your a finger. Yeah, it's definitely court. the one going That's upstairs. That's the one you then. can see at the top, yeah? Yeah, it's one going upstairs, I think. Okay, mate. Yeah, we can't do much more with that until we find some keys there, mate. I just realised. So we're going to find the other end of that abovewards. I mean, we know it goes through above. the floor, don't we? It definitely goes up there, So yeah. if we head above there, try and trace it to wherever. Uh, find one that looks like it, disconnect it, then also we'll come back here and see if it is the right one. If it's not, we'll put it back and find another one. Eh? I'm hoping it's simple enough, but... Um, Let's do it. Yeah, sure Let's I'm. do it. I think the trouble is, Al, um, they've just branched off cables and branched off and branched off again. So it's a bit of a, you know, in a modern system, it would have probably gone back to a big panel with a word on it saying it fed this floor, but we don't get that luxury, unfortunately, mate. So uh, we're going to see what we can find, yeah? What about this, Duncan? Have a look, mate. I found something. You found something, yeah? I remember to duck more than normal. Well, that's definitely a, a likeliness, isn't it? Surely that's not the feed. There was a big switch on this. I remember this, wasn't there? Which we disconnected. We've got on Earth. That is definitely the right size cable, and it's well, coming from- not live, is it? Because we've disconnected that in the past. That was, it was working downstairs earlier, yeah? Yeah. Well, I'm guessing it's probably not that. Have you got a tester with you? I'll bring the tester from the box. Hang on, I can always- Test it myself, but it's free phase. Is it live? Isn't it live? That's the big question. Well, the fact we just taped it up suggests it's not, doesn't it? I hope. 
Oh, maybe. Oh, which one though? That's the issue, isn't it? I've done two. Yeah, okay, that's right. live. What about this one? Right. No, it's just the big one. I'm not sure all of it is there. But it's obviously not coming from there. No, but it can't be live so that's at both ends, from... can it? Okay, so we've got to go back. It's the same colour cable on both ends, and that's off. Yeah. It can't be that, can it? No. So this is just a back feed, Bill. We must continue the hunt. I think we just taped them up last time, mate. We, we did, yeah, to make them safe. Ago, so we because didn't... someone um, kicked something off the wall. Yeah. Um, and then there were bare wires, yeah. live three-phase wires hanging off the wall. So anyone could have come in the building, yeah, grabbed that by accident, yeah. or yeah. touched it and got... Well, killed. Yeah. So. And what does three phase mean? <clears throat> well, it's uh, 230 volts three yeah, times. It's, it's three times. It's the way the electricity is generated. It's like a center point, which comes out, you know, like a, well, like a triangle. So at each point of the triangle, you'll have 230 volts yep. to the center. But between the, the ends there's of the a, triangle, there's a you'll have 400 volts. All oh, right, 400, yeah. Yeah, so the center of the triangle is the neutral, yeah. really, isn't yeah. it? Each, each side mm -hmm. would be yeah. the 230. But between the two, the, the ends of the triangle, the ends of the phases, you'll have 415 yeah. generally. So we've got a lot of juice. So and what's care, that rated at? 60? Depends what, depends what we fed it with. Mate. 60, like, I think. 60 or 30. I mean, the cable looks like a 30 amp supply. Yeah, it might be 30, so yeah. 30, mate, It'd uh, give you a shock, wouldn't it? Well, yeah, so, yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> You don't need amps to kill, do you? No, you don't. 30, volts, yeah. 30 milliamps is considered safe. Anything above that can kill, depending on yeah. the situation. Yeah. Anyway, let's continue. We'll continue let's on, continue. Yeah. So perhaps they both come from the same place. Or... What about up here? Oh, go. we found it all. Yeah, it's all here. behind the door. In a nice big connection box. Oh, we found see it. Really, so we've got the connection box there. Um, I believe that's probably fed from the attic. Fed from the top, I'd say, wouldn't yep. you? And then this is our one yeah. to downstairs. Yeah. And the one on the left is probably where we just were, I yeah. guess, wouldn't you? So we need to disconnect. Oh, it's a very small box for the size of the stuff coming <laughs> it out. Is, yeah. It's a bit of a worry. But... It is. So if we um, get a ladder and some yeah. lights, we can um, disconnect that. Yeah, we're going to also have to kill the power to that, but we'll get up there first, don't we? Yeah. That'd be a good idea, yeah. That will help. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sit on your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> So what have you done? Have you turned off the power or is it's, it just It's still on. It's still we on. We want to see if there is power first, don't we, yeah, before we turn it off. We're living dangerously. Otherwise we don't know. Oh, oh that well, looks like fun. Can I ask connector blocks? That's what you expect, <laughs> isn't it? But, uh, <laughs> great. It looks safe, doesn't it? Right. Did be human? Yeah, okay. We have three phases. This is good, I suppose. Right, I think you say as Billy says, we're, we're guessing that's going to be the one going down. So I might say we turn this off, take drop them cables, turn it back on, and then we'll go and have a look, yeah? Yep. So uh, unfortunately, I have to run downstairs and just turn the this main power. Um, I don't think we'll get it from the kitchen, can we? We won't get back fed by the office and kitchen. Oh, God. <laughs> just turn, turn everything off. Yeah. <laughs> I might try, um, if I put a, a beep tester in there, Bill, I might, yeah. I might be shout abuse at you from downstairs. You may be to hear me, probably not, but at least you don't have to hold a meter in there, do you? We'll just that in there. Yeah. Right, I should be back shortly. I'll try turning the kitchen off first, so I'll just turn all the breakers off because it might come from there. So Duncan's gone to isolate the entire building. Um, turn all the electric off, that means the office, the kitchen. But the only problem is we've got some backup battery systems. We've got one in the office and one in the kitchen. And what will happen if you turn off the mains, it actually back feeds the mains. But it should be all right, it should be fine. If that stops beeping, it means there's no more electric, so. I think the electric's off. It's definitely off, it stopped beeping. Duncan! It's off! You can't hear me. <laughs> right, it's pretty sure, let's just double check. So we don't actually want this supply, do we? So really, we need to just, just to... disconnect the whole thing. Exactly, just leave the supply. Leave the main supply up there for now, and then the and rest can just be disconnected. We need to trace it further back, don't we? So we have to drop it totally, really. Just double check across there, mate. No problems. Lovely. Right. We're not being backfed, are we? There's nothing there, though. Good. So usually you split cables via a fuse box of some kind, because obviously then you can protect the cables, can't you? Mm -hmm. there's, there's no protection here, so. Again, a well, cable box looks 70s, 80s to me. 70s, 80s, yeah. Generally around the 70s, I think. Everything, everything, everything in France seems to be done in the 70s, isn't it? Mm. I suppose a lot of work in the UK was the same, wasn't it? 
for some reason, people have suddenly decided they wanted to improve things in that era, didn't they? Yeah. So, um, yeah, so we've disconnected upstairs, mate. Um, so the only cable up there now is the one live that feeds the box. So everything else is off. The dodgy connection we saw earlier is off. And this is off too. I'll just show you so you don't think I'll make it out. I'll just put that tester in there. Excuse the numbers upside down, but I can definitely zero, zero, zero there, Governor. Uh, there's no way else we can check it. Really. Good job, Duncan. Good job, That's mate. Well, so we're definitely off that and come down now. Right? Um, and then well, hopefully everything else on the floor will be dead. Yeah. We should check as well. Well, we just I'll reiterate yeah. because when this yeah. switch is off, everything on this floor is off. So yeah. I made sure this was off when we. Started this work. This mod de demolishing yeah. the room, so yeah. And you only had one other cable, didn't you? An issue that was fed via the kitchen hallway. That's from the hallway where the lift shaft is, yeah, but that's yeah. fine. We knew that was likely. Anyway, that one, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. And then for the future for this floor, what will happen with the electrics then? It'll be refed from somewhere else. Yeah, we've got to decide where we're going to put another box. Because yeah, you we? can't just whack in loads of power throughout mm. the entire building and have too much in one part of the building, not enough in the other. Because if we're running a lot of AC or appliances and things like that, you'll end up with not enough power for the rest of the building. And um, I think we're going to be a bit stretched as it is. Well, there's at lot, one, at two point. mains in the whole building, really, aren't there? The yeah. one that goes to the current kitchen, mm -hmm. which has been spurred off for various things, and the one wide The kitchen, the is that 60? Um, no, 30. No, 30. 40. Yeah, we don't use a lot in the kitchen, though, no. so it should be all right. And, um, and the other one which goes to your office, which also goes via the lift shaft... And was doing this as well, wasn't it? Yeah. So it was quite some yeah. trouble. They tend to have put two supplies in and just kept stuffing other wires yeah. into connections to, yeah. to deal with issues as they've gone along. We'll have a decent feed for the bedroom. Yeah. And that should yeah. probably so we'll get one more feed yeah. in, maybe a big one that we can split the rest of it on. Yeah. Perhaps, yeah. So we can pull this off the wall now. Is that yep. safe? Yep, yeah, it's safe, mate. You just should get a put it on your arms. I can unscrew the screw. You can unscrew it. <laughs> We're not going to use it anyway. No, okay, so it's, fine. it's a bit outdated. I'm just removing um, the plaster and the nails that they put underneath this beam. But um, what's quite interesting is the massive split in it. I mean, you've got one here, which is in the wrong direction. If it was going that way, it's fine. But when it goes that way, that means there's an issue. But it's only about that, about that far inwards. The top half of the beam, which is where it's much larger, doesn't have any splits. So, yeah, it's just a hard one because we can't see the whole beam at the moment. And um, what would make me happy, if we did keep this beam for any reason that we thought it was safe enough, probably consult with someone who knows about this, but if we removed a lot of the weight from the floor above, it would be fine because there's nothing up there that's pushing pressure on it. But yeah, it's a tricky one at the moment. We'll only be able to decide as we get further. But looking at it from here, that's perfectly straight. From here, it's perfectly straight. It's only that side where it slopes down. So it's actually been put in wonky, which is a bit strange. Because that goes straight to the wall here, but then from this point, it raises about 20 centimeters. So it's always been saggy, which makes no sense. But yeah, we can only decide once we remove more, like I said, so yeah. Remove some more of this plaster. It's about to get a better look at it.
So we got done what we wanted to do today. We have exposed this beautiful wall. We've got the rest of the ceiling down. We had a bit of a clear up, we moved all the radiators. We had the electrics fixed. Thank you so much, Duncan. Thank you, Dad and Yanis, for all your hard work. Yeah, it's coming on now. We've got that wall to do. Strip out a bit more of this room, and then we're on to the last room. But the only problem is, the more I look at the beam, the worse it looks, or the worse it gets. Um, hmm. Yeah, and it's okay, it's fine if we have to take longer and do the same what we're doing now upstairs to repair or replace this beam. But the only problem is doing that means we have to demolish the secret room that we discovered, which would be an absolute shame, wouldn't it? I mean, we could dismantle it very sympathetically and put it back as it was, sort of, or just get rid of it altogether, I don't know. At this stage, it's just a little bit too early to make them sort of decisions. So yeah, thank you everyone for watching this video today and I'll see you all tomorrow.